Hello, all of my cantankerous, cunty, underground-dwelling, hermaphroditic, troglodytic chuds to another edition of What's in the Fucking Bag. My name is Eliza Motherfucking Pancakes, and I am completely doing this of my own free will and volition, and <laughs> the production is not holding me at gunpoint from behind the camera. <laughs> no, I love this job. <laughs> I do, seriously. <laughs> I'm blinking. I'm blinking rapidly. Hera, 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 heretic. 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 Hera. Greek goddess. Why are you here? You should be at the finale. What happened? Well, Eliza, I just felt like it's my time to go. You know, I felt like that I had gone through the competition. Um, I was going to be in the bottom again regardless. If I wound up some of those girls home, I would be the villain of the season. And I didn't want that. So, I was stressed and I chose it was my time to go. My decision. So, basically what I'm hearing is that you quit. You quit the show. Well, yes, to put it simply, yes, I did quit. Wow, you know what, Hera? Wow, I think more people should quit. I implore, I encourage more people to quit. For example, Morgan should quit Drag Race. Production should quit Drag Race. Then I can move on with my life and not have to do this shit anymore. But I digress. So instead of sitting here and harping on and on and on, blah, 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 have a come to Jesus moment about why quitting is bad, let's just go get it over with, jump into the bag. Hera, what's in the bag? What did you show us today? Let's start with this dress here. That dress is... Actually, I borrowed it from my drag mom, and it's somewhat of a family heirloom of sorts, and I had to promise on my unborn child that it would come back in one piece, and fortunately, that's not a problem, because I never got the chance to wear it. And this you would have worn for the Snatch Game? No, no, not Snatch Game. Oh, what was it? I believe it would have been on Queen Pete's. It would have been for the runway, the Mask for Mask, His and Hers runway. Oh, that's right. Originally, they call it Dynamic Drag Duo, so they changed it. Um, yeah, FYI, because I'm on the know on the show, it was supposed to be a makeover challenge, and you were supposed to make over, like, a straight jock, but they changed it midway through. Isn't that fun? That's fun. Anyway, so back to this dress. I like it. It looks kind of like orange mandarin or gold. I can see you sashaying down the runway in it and it's just glittering the light reflecting off of it. It's gorgeous. I normally don't go for like bold gold or like orangey colors because I think they look flamboyant, but I'm not a drag queen. I normally stick with like black or red or vertical stripes because they're slimming or whatever. I like this look, and I think with the right mask, like a matching gold mask, you would have knocked it out of the park. I think you would have gotten your first win. Oh, oh, that's right, Harry, you didn't get any wins this season. You quit. You had no wins. Yes, yes, I had zero wins, Eliza. Thank you for, for bringing that up. I uh, <laughs> almost had forgotten that I had no wins. No wins this season. So, speaking of losers, have you really, like, gotten back in contact with Tamron Rashad since leaving? Um, I know that was kind of, like, really the crux of you guys' appearance on the show, because I've been watching along, and the second she left, it was like they had nothing for you on the show. Like, you were given very barely any screen time on Challenge 4, on the, the Weather Challenge. I think, actually, that was the most screen time you had until your departure from the show. Like, Snatch Game, hardly anything. Um, Stranger Looks, nothing. Like, literally, you were there, but you had no lines. Like, what the fuck was up with that? So, with Stranger Looks, 
the Don't Be a Stranger video, I did have lines recorded. Apparently, they were unusable. And I was willing to go through and re-record it, even, it, you know, dubbing it in or going back on location and, and doing that because I don't want to say I'm not a quitter because I did quit the show. I, that was due to mental health and stress, and I was like, it's my time to go. But if it's something like that that I can easily correct and make the show as a whole more enjoyable and better, I absolutely would do it 100%. The gig is lit. I am lit. Let's do it. But production had said, let's just go. It's corrupted. It's no no good. We'll leave you in, but you'll just, you know, whatever. And so that's what we got. Wow, Hera. Wow, that is just, that's sad. That's really sad, Heretic. You came on the show. You were originally supposed to be on season two. Not the season two we got. The prototype season two. The one that Galaxia was going to host. Yeah, people don't realize this. I'm really in the fucking know. Um, original season two was going to be hosted by Galaxia because Morgan was in like a pay strike. And she'll tell you, oh, no, no, no. I was, I was, uh, did he have like redemption? Blah, blah. No, see, redemption was a buffer between season one and season two. Okay, because Morgan wasn't doing season two. She was pissed because she was, like, doing all these things, and they weren't paying her more money. So, um, she went on strike. They pulled in Galaxia. She was the host of that, her first hosting gig ever. So, uh, then the hard drive crash happened. We lost all that footage. Everything is gone. But, uh, you, Heretic, Darren Leak. Planchette, uh, Mitzi, Mitzi Valenz were all on the original season two. Now those other names, people are like, who are the? Well, Planchette and Mitzi Valenz were supposed to be on this season three. Oh, and Ithaca was on that season also. So we have you, Heretic, Darren Leak, Ithaca, Mitzi Valenz, Planchette, oh, and Retsu. So that's six queens right there on the original season two. Planchette and oh, what the fuck is her name? I just forgot it. Mitzi were removed from season three because some other queens came in and they didn't really jive well. So, Hera, do you feel like your time on this season would be would, received better than the time on the original season two, the one that you chose not to come back to? Because. Um, if I recall correctly, production and Morgan said, if you want to come back and do the new season two, you can, or you can wait for a, for a later season. The only queen that came back was Darren Leak, because I guess she was the most polished of them all. And she proved it. She's lip sync assassin of that season. Original season two is weird because there are other queens on it, like Cyanide, who I kind of had a feud with, along with Kendra Hills. Kendra Hills had won the original challenge. It was a Halloween theme challenge. And uh, we were kind of like three, like, musketeers, but not really, even though we were kind of like uniting against the other queens, um, we still didn't really trust each other. So it was a situation of, you know, Cyanide was doing her thing, I was doing my thing, Kendra's doing her thing, and um, I think that it would have been a great season had it followed through beyond the first episode, the first challenge. Had we not lost that footage, it would have been amazing. I understand that it wasn't just the footage that was lost, like the entire studio burnt down or something or collapsed. So... By the time everything was done and ready, all of it was lost, plus the studio was lost, so it wasn't really even a matter of, oh, we can just go refilm it. You couldn't. Because it was gone, it had to be replaced. So, they went, started brand new with brand new queens, plus Darren Leak, and I think we got a great season two. I think season three has been amazing so far. Honestly, I think that quitting is and people will sit here and say like oh you shouldn't quit blah 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 the thing is if you know 
your strengths, which most people would know their own strengths and weaknesses, and you don't think you're going to make it that far, you want to save face or you want to bow out on a high note. Um, in your case, it was like a stress issue. I get it. I get it completely because people don't realize that. They're like, oh, it's a show. I want to be entertained, blah, 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 blah. They don't see how it, like, affects the players in the game. So I totally commend you for putting your mental health first. Now, let's go on to this other dress here. This looks like a very gorgeous flowing showy ball gown i'm gonna go on a limb and say this is probably what you would have worn for the finale had you made it that far you weren't very far from the finale when you left episode seven there was only eight and nine left two left actually one left technically because it was episode eight and then you pass that you're at the finale i'm guessing that this is for the finale i think so it might have been for what because there is multiple themes for the finale there's reunion there's queen speech there's a runway and then of course there's a lip sync look this definitely would not have been a lip sync look okay um i would not be jumping around stage in that gig in that dress that time no no, no. this is another dress i borrowed from another family member if anything happened to that dress honey you'd be attending my funeral <laughs> but yeah that's it was for the finale one aspect of it. i'm not sure specifically i like it i think it's not too draggy it's not too modest i think it works i can totally see you winning and being crowned in that gown because it's not too like showy it's not too like uh you know, bland. It's the perfect level of sophisticated and, you know, beautiful. Uh, what kind of hair would you have worn? I probably would have worn my hair up. Probably have some dripping jewels, dripping jewels, the ears, the neck, all of it. I can totally see that. But now I'm picturing like a frozen theme, like icicles and all that. Oh, God. You know, now I'm upset we're not going to be able to see that, Hera, damn it. I know, I dropped the ball. No, 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 it's fine. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, I like both of these looks, and I seldom say this on the show because I'm actually kind of a bitch. And I'm not, like, not bitching, like, just because, like, you know, you quit the show. <laughs> You know, because, like, you didn't have the guts to keep going through or anything. I'm not saying that, Hera. <laughs> not at all. No, definitely not at all. No. I can tell. Oh, and look at that. We're all out of time. So I'm going to end it here. Tune in next time as I sit down with the one and only Ouya owner in the world and ask, Why?